Most any lender will require an appraisal when you apply for a loan. That appraisal is needed not only to ensure that the collateral is worth what they're going to lend against, but it helps the prospective buyer know that they aren't paying too much for that property. So it, it kind of serves a dual purpose even though the appraiser does that assignment for the bank, the lender, whomever. And the appraisal process involves a number of things. First off, you want to make sure that you have an appraiser that is qualified to do that assignment. And the appraisal process is much different than what an appraiser would do for a home in town. Their qualifications are different and actually our state certified appraisers with general certification are qualified to do those out in the country whereas a residential certified appraiser is not qualified by the state licensing board. When an appraiser gets an assignment Typically what they will do is try to get some base information of the subject property so that they can do some general research on the neighborhood and what type of sales are in that area. Once an appraiser completes the analysis, they have to put it into a report form. And so the appraiser will write up the report with all of the pertinent information as far as the subject's physical characteristics, comparable sales that are used, the cost if applicable. We have a couple of gentlemen that do chattel appraisals and they will appraise your cattle, equipment, other livestock, and that's for our production lending side of our business. These guys will go out and take a look at your collateral, whether it's livestock or equipment. Similar to a real estate appraisal, they'll have sources to estimate the value because we do employ our chattel appraisers in-house and are not relying on fee appraisers to go out and evaluate that collateral. Mm -hmm.